I'm Meredith with XT, and today we are talking with Matt. Thank you so much for joining me with me today. Thanks for having me. Of course. So I just want to give everybody a brief overview of your setup. So again, you have the 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport S. You have 17 by 9 inch Mammoth 8 steel black wheels with a negative 6 millimeter offset. Uh, 285 70 R17 Milestar Patagonia ATR all terrain tires, which are equivalent to a 33 by 11. And then you have the Terraflex 2.5 inch Sport ST2 lift kit with Falcon SP2 at 2.1 shocks. Can you tell me why you chose this combo? My idea for the Jeep is not to go rock crawling or go super extreme or anything like that. It's my first off-road vehicle and my family is getting bigger. So I wanted to be able to take them sort of off the beaten path without really needing to struggle much. The tires, I didn't need 35s, 33s I figured would be perfect for what I wanted. The wheels that I chose, I wanted steel wheels because if I were to bend them or just harm them in some way while out uh, off-roading, I wanted to be able to hammer it back out if I had to, just to get it back into round. I didn't really have a specific um, size of wheel, uh, of rim set in mind. As for the shocks, um, I did some homework on Terraflex and other, other brands, but they're a great brand, good reputation. And I went with two and a half over anything higher because I not want to uh, have to change brake lines or anything like that. So to get into some details about your setup, starting off with the wheels, again, for everybody watching at home, Matt has the 17 by nine inch Mammoth 8 steel black wheels with a negative six millimeter offset. Can you tell me why you chose these wheels in particular? When I discovered the Extreme Terrain website, I just started going through all your guys' wheels and, and just looking at them. Those ones in particular, A, they remind me of a racing wheel that people used to put on their old Challengers, their old Chargers, old Mopar cars, but the look really, really appealed to me. Especially, I'm so grateful that you guys have that. Um, that feature uh, where it shows my my Jeep, my color, everything, and I could actually fit, see what it looks like. And as soon as I landed on those wheels, I said, that's that's what I wanted, it was, it was perfect. And what about the color? Um, obviously, the black looks really good, especially up against that green. Is there a reason why you chose that over maybe another uh, option as far as uh, the color is concerned, like polish, for example. Uh, like you said, the black and green, they just go, they, they go really, really well together. And I wanted to sort of keep that, that aesthetic across the whole the whole vehicle, um, as opposed to getting some sort of, uh, like you said, polished. The center caps on those wheels, you guys sent um, polished chrome and you guys sent black. I actually ended up using the polished chrome on those because it added just a tiny bit of, bit of contrast to make everything sort of work. Now, when getting into size, you said that you kind of copied um, your uncle and your cousin when it came to the 17 inch size, which is very common and a lot of people do that. Now, are you happy with the like sidewall ratio with the 17 inch wheel and the 33? I am. When we were in down uh, in Death Valley, I did come up uh, against some spots where I needed to, I didn't, I don't want to destroy my wheels by scraping them on anything. Sidewall of the of the tires actually helped sort of keep them protected when I uh, when I scraped up a bunch of other things. Not only that, but the sharp rocks and all that stuff that I could run over, it kind of helps to have fatter, meatier tires. Just as a reminder for everybody at home, uh, you have the 285 70 R17 Milestar Patagonia ATR all-terrain tires, uh, which is equivalent to the 33 by 11. Can you tell me why you chose this tire? Yeah, um, actually another neat feature of your guys' website is when you go through the different sizes of tires that are offered, actually give a little a run down of what those tires are good for um, and what sort of they're not good for if I was so if I was looking for like the rock crawling and that stuff 35 and up would have been the way to go but because I don't need to go that far I went with the 33s uh because on the website it said it's perfect for like the overlanding and just going off the beaten path the fire trails all that kind of fun stuff but still able to take on some of the harder harder challenges that's why I went with that route plus again budget played a huge factor in everything because I'm not a bajillionaire so 33 seemed like a no-brainer now how do the tires drive compared to your stock ones? Would you say that they're loud, smooth, 
uh, bumpy? Are they quiet? With those tires and the suspension that I have, the ride is better than stock. That is fantastic. I, I love it. Did you have to calibrate for the larger tires at all, like a speedometer recalibration tool, a tune, gears, anything like that? Yeah, if I were to have gone 35 and above, then I would have had to had to play with the computer. Um, but because I didn't, I didn't have to do any of that. And it's it, it, it works out fine. Perfect. And it's not any more sluggish with the 33s? Not one bit. Well, so let's get into the suspension. So again, you have the Terraflex two and a half inch Sport ST2 lift kit with the Falcon SP2 uh, 2.1 shocks. Why did you choose this one? When I was reading all the stuff on your website for the, the two and a half inch lift with the 30, 33 inch tires, it seemed the definition almost just word for word seemed to be exactly what I wanted to do. Now, as far as um, the two and a half inch lift kit with the 33s, I can imagine that you didn't have any fitment issues, no rubbing, nothing. No, it was it was just smooth all the way around. Now, how does it perform off-road? Have you taken it off-road and kind of feel a difference between on and off-road driving with the lift kit compared to stock? Yes, so I didn't do much with the stock one. I wanted to wait till I got everything fixed, so I can't really compare much. I can't can compare is the first time I took the, the Jeep out with the new setup, um, I didn't adjust them. So I didn't have the, I left it on the on the Sport. It was really stiff on those bumps and, and everything. But as soon as I adjusted it, it was perfect. I had absolutely no problem. It felt great. So when I switched it back to Sport and drive on the road or the freeways, it feels like it rides better than it does stock. How do you like the way that it looks as far as the entire combination is concerned? I am a huge fan. Uh, every time I walk outside and look at that car, I'm like, I I, I know I made the right decision. I mean, even just in the in the looks department alone, it looks aggressive. It looks sleek. I get comments on the on not the, the color, the combinations of all the stuff that I have on there. It's neat because it engages me in conversation that I normally would never have had uh, without the, without it. Did you have any other like future plans? I do. I still have uh, somewhat of a lengthy wish list on your guys' website. Nothing to really change uh, much of the aesthetic, uh, just little simple things. Eventually, I got to get a, a dual battery set up um, and a winch put on there. That kind of wraps it up for all of my questions. Thank you so much. Definitely. Thank you. All right. So to kind of wrap everything up, again, you have the 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport S. You have 17 by 9 inch Mammoth 8 steel black wheels with a negative 6 millimeter offset. 285 70 R17 Milestar Patagonia ATR all terrain tires, which are equivalent to a 33 by 11. And then you have the Terraflex 2.5 inch Sport ST2 lift kit with the Falcon SP2 2.1 shocks. Again, thank you so much. And for more videos just like this, keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.